Okay, in this tutorial I'm just going to demonstrate the workflow from Revit into the Unity game engine uh, through or with using 3ds Max as an intermediary. Uh, the reason we use 3ds Max is to convert the standard Autodesk materials into, uh, into standard. Um, so starting off we have the uh, basic model which ships with uh, Revit. I'm just going to use this as a basis. Now, before, what we're going to do is first of all create uh, an FBX file. And the FBX is what we're going to bring into Max. Uh, and then do a quick modification for the materials and then pop it into Unity. Again, as an FBX. Now, there's a couple of things to know about this. Um, when you're creating the FBX, anything that is visible uh, will be exported. Now, items that aren't visible obviously won't. Now, there's a couple of things that we probably don't necessarily need. Um, in the the final game. Now we can recreate the terrain uh, in the, the game itself. So what we can do is we can hide this away. So hide and view element. And we can grab this these arrays here and get rid of those as well. So I'm just going to get rid of them. This is control button and hide and view element. Um, probably don't need the RPC content either. Incidentally the RPC content will be likes of your trees. So I'm just going to grab those and uh, hide in view and get that as well. Okay, so what I'm left with is uh, basically the, the building um, and a few wind turbines. That's good. All right, so I'm just going to, it looks fine. So what I'm going to do now is um, export what we see here as an FBX file. And we do this by going into the standard Revit uh, menu here, clicking export, and then says FBX, save 3D view as an FBX. So I'm going to do that. Um, go over to my game uh, engine demo folder here. And uh, by default, it'll give us the, the name of the file and the view. So currently we're in the, the default 3D view there. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Um, Okay, type of file is an FBX. This LOD here is level of detail, um, and we can click without boundary edge as well. I'm just going to leave everything as is. Uh, might as well use level of detail. And click save. So that'll produce quite quickly. So there it is working away. And uh, it's just about done. All right, that's fine. Let's have a quick look in the folder itself. Let's see where it is. Yep, there's my FBX file. Uh, currently sitting at 8 meg. That's good. The next thing we're going to do is bring this into 3ds Max. So I have an instance of 3ds running here. Um, all right, I'm using the full version of 3ds Max here. Um, there's also the design version. It does make a difference which one you use. So what we need to do first of all is import that newly recreated created FBX file. So if I come in here, I can click on the import import non-native file formats into 3ds so we do that let's go find that file so there we go and there it is so file name type of file fine all good and click open so it's going to bring some information uh, up for us telling us a bit about it now things like the z-axis so z is up um, system units inches file units in feet and so on and so forth so we're not going to worry too much about any of this at the moment and click OK. So what we should see now is our model coming in. Okay, now it's upset about one thing, which is the camera. Um, so I'll say camera listed below, use film offsets, blah, 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 blah. So we're just going to say that, look, it's not happy about it, not supported, fine, whatever. Click OK. I'm not terribly worried about it anyway. And here we have it. So this is our model in, and you'll note that the terrain is not with it, and the trees are also gone. So I'm just going to select away on that, and uh, maybe just make this full screen so we can get a look. So maximize this viewport, and come in and have a look. All right, that looks fine. And a quick spin around, it all seems to be okay. And uh, okay, now what we need to do next is to convert the Autodesk materials here, uh, are currently in the scene into standard materials. Now this is achieved by using a script 
um, available from 3dstudio.nl. So that'll be available in the uh, comments below. So I'm gonna run this script. So click on Mac script, run script. Um, currently I'm uh, in the wrong directory. So I'm gonna go into Autodesk here, Max design. Uh, we should have scripts in here somewhere. AMC and AMC uh, 3.1. So click on this and click open and uh, it happily goes to work. Now, um, this is a two-stage process, um, very, very quick. So convert Autodesk materials and it's in convert to Arc and Design, which would be your standard mental ray stuff or V-Ray if you have that renderer. So we're gonna click to Arc and Design, it's fine. Uh, what to convert, the selection or the whole scene. So we want the whole scene converted, all right? And those two settings, our choice is made. We click convert to Arc and Design. There we go, conversion finished. Click OK. Now, yeah, yeah, click OK. And you can see there that the scene has just uh, quickly flashed through. All right, the next thing we need to do is convert to the standard. Now, the reason we need this is the, the second part of the process. Actually, it seems to be busy doing something there. Okay. Um, so, convert to standard. And what to convert? The whole scene. Um, we can enter the resolution for the bitmap, so we need that. They're all selecting all the defaults here. And now we click on convert to standard. It will not go directly from Autodesk materials to standard materials. You have to go through uh, A and D or V Ray first. So now we're going to convert those to standard materials. And again, it's a very quick process. That'll come back with the same message. Let's screen flicker there. There we go, conversion finished. Click OK. Now, um, that's all there is to that. The next thing we need to do is re-export this as an FBX, which we can then bring into Unity. So I'm gonna close this down now and go into the exports of Max. So uh, let's import, so we'll try export maybe. Uh, export, non-native, fine. And you select FBX from this listing here. Now, currently there's nothing there, so I wanna go back to my uh, folder here that I had for my demo. So this is our previous file, I'm gonna keep that. And what I'm gonna do is just rename this to standard. Standard mat. Just to make it super obvious. Okay, click save there. And now, before it does the final work on this, it's gonna ask us to um, make a few, uh, well, check the settings, basically. So let's include, let's have a look in the geometry here. So smoothing groups, that's all all standard. Um, animations we're not worried about, cameras we're not worried about. Lights, anything in there? Yep, it's gonna spit those out. Uh, it's gonna spit out cameras as well, we don't particularly need them. Maybe I'll just turn off the cameras. Um, animations, don't want those either, so we don't have any. And the really important one here is embed media. So this would be things like all the materials will be here, so we want those. Um, advanced options there, so units, all that kind of stuff, we'll deal with all those at another date. So all that being done, we'll click OK, and it goes to work. Now, a couple of problems here. Um, so warnings and errors. So we have an unsupported controllers. Um, so compass, sun and sky, all that kind of stuff. Okay, fine. Um, a couple of unexpected light types. So it's not happy with the sun and the sky. That's okay because Unity has its own sky boxes. And um, okay, these probably might take a little bit of work. We'll chase down these and figure out what the, the problem is there. And we have a texture uh, problem here. So it's one of the materials it's not happy about. Fine. Um, click OK on this and let it go to work. So that's processing away in the background. And uh, what we'll do now is just have a look in that folder and see what we got. Okay, well we've seen the file size jump um, from the original 8 meg to 45. Okay, 
Um, I think that's done. So what we'll do now is we're going to go into Unity. So before I do that, I'm just going to shut down Revit. Uh, don't want to save changes. And I'll shut down Max as well. So I'll close the window there. Save changes. Don't save. Okay, so into Unity. So in Unity here, um, we're going to create a new project. I'm going to call this um, Revit Video. Okay, courtesy of YouTube. And what we're going to do is set up some assets here. Uh, these asset packets packs are what we're going to use um, inside Unity itself. Now we can load these in Unity directly, or we can do it from here. So things we're going to want. Um, Look, I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm just going to bring in the character controller for the moment and leave the rest of it alone. Things like utility are nice to have, uh, environment and so on and so forth, but we're just trying to keep this simple for the moment. Um, so I'll click done on this. So rev video, and this is just spitting a location now, so maybe I'll change the location. Uh, create a new folder, call this one Unity. The Y and say put it there and click create project. So Unity is going to uh, well, it's going to decompress that character controller package before firing up the main interface. Um, it's a reasonably quick process. Now, that Ethan character you become familiar with. Um, that's one of the first person controllers. Okay, is there a third person controller coming in? And after a few moments, it's ready. Okay, so here we are in the Unity game engine. And uh, let's see what we have here under our, our various component parts. So first thing I'm going to do is have a look in all scripts, all prefabs. And hopefully in here, yep, there are FPS controller. This is our first person controller, which we're going to be using. Um, now to bring in our model, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Assets, Import New Asset, and it's looking in that uh, area here. So I'm going to go into the Game Engine demo, and this is our one with our standard materials. So I'll click, uh, click on this FBX here and click Import. So this is just going to drag in um, our model. There it goes, all coming in. Quite quick, there's some materials coming in. All those PNG files are material properties. And after a moment or two, it should be good to go. All right, so now that that's loaded up, if we look in our assets here, we'll see that uh, we have our REC basic, and uh, this is our model. So what we can do, if we want to put it in the scene here, is we simply drag it and put it in, like so. Now you can look at uh, these things here, positions and all the rest. So maybe we'll just position everything at zero, zero, zero. So let's change that to zero, zero. Now this is a handy thing to do because when we start bringing in other assets, um, we can just keep putting them in the same location. That's just a good habit to get into. I'm not gonna do it in this video. Okay, so there it is, it's in. So now what we can do is just zoom back, have a look, and we can see that's actually quite nice. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. So there it is. It's now in. Okay, so what we need to do now is um, try and set up some terrain for this thing. So uh, we can go into here, game object, and da, 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 3D object, and we can, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to put in some terrain. I'm just going to put in... Uh, a cube here just so we can have something to walk on so I'll click on cube and you can see it here and now what I need to do is to scale this out all right so we can do this by selecting the cube as you see there and we can use this to scale it so I'm just gonna drag these out a bit um, and what we need is something to walk on so that's what I'm going to do with this. So I'm just set this up here. Uh, I'll cover terrain uh, another time. And uh, now what I'm going to do is just move it up slightly so that it's kind of touching maybe there. So let's grab that there. 
Okay, so we have this here. Now what we need to do with this particular box is we need to set this up as uh, a collider. So what I'm doing is selecting the box. We can do it incidentally from uh, here as well. Uh, I'm just going to close off this. And there's the cube that we just created. So if I, for instance, select this, you'll see that the building is selected. So I'll select the cube here. And uh, there's currently a box collider on that, which is fine. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yep, that'll do. So next thing we need to do is drag in our first person controller. So what we do now is we go into our prefabs, and this is our FPS controller here. And what I can do is just grab this and pop it into the scene. And when I do that, uh, you'll see there the top of it is sunk in. So what I need to do with this thing is uh, just move it up a bit. So you can see there the capsule and the, the circle around it. You also see these lines here, which are actually with the way the camera is facing. So if I go up on the top here, you can see what's going on. Maybe I should put a material on that. I'm just going to pop a material on the um, <laughs> onto. Yeah, we go. Let's put that on there. Obviously, the scaling on that one's completely wrong. So, I can grab my first-person controller here, and you can see there that they're just facing completely the wrong way. So, this is um, when we start off this game, personally facing the wrong way. So, I was going to simply grab this one and rotate them. Just a little bit there, so that'll be that. Now it's FPS controller there, full scene, very wide. And uh, now what I'll do is click the play button and see what we get. Voila. So we have uh, our mouse look is active, as you can see there. And uh, we can move forward and back, like so. That's not looking too bad. Now there's no collider set up on this at the moment, which is why I can do stupid things like walk through the building, um, and columns and whatnot. And uh, that's just the basics of it. So that's all the star, star point. Okay, thank you for watching.